Let's move on to building bullet points that boost your product sales. Once the customer clicks to our listing, they'll generally do one of two things. They'll either view more of your images or they'll scan your bullet points. Note that I said scan, not read. It's for this reason that we must use our bullet points to quickly convey the main product points and not do what so many other people will teach you and tell you to do, which is to write long salesy bullet points that try to cram everything in to just a few lines. We want to give the customer just enough information in the bullets to help them either check out or scroll down to the description where they can get even more information, as well as reading a more benefit-driven piece that describes the usefulness of the product in greater detail. It's advisable to mention the primary keyword in your first bullet point. The reason for this is because Amazon sometimes references this whenever a user inputs a search query. As you can see, certain bullet points, Amazon calls them product features, are displayed on the search results page. Having the primary keyword in the first bullet point helps confirm to users that your product is exactly what they're looking for. In summary, good product bullet points create interest. They inform the customer of product specifics, such as the dimensions, or in other words, how big the product is. Maybe they say how much volume something can hold or how long something is, that kind of thing. They're easy to read and to scan. They differentiate the product. They help people complete the 3D image in their mind. They include keywords. Don't stuff your bullet points with keywords, but also make sure that you mention the main primary and secondary keywords in sentences that make sense and inform the customer about the product that you're selling. Finally, they encourage people to want to read on or to buy. Don't be salesy in this section, however. Focus on giving them as much information as they'll need to make an informed decision about the product. If it matches their needs, they'll buy it. If it doesn't, they'll move on. Remember, we can't force demand, we can only fulfill demand. Here's some good examples of product bullet points that work. These bullet points could be improved by adding the primary keyword in the first bullet point. Other than that, they're good examples of bullet points that say quite a lot about a product without saying too much. They give specific information, such as dimensions, and they do some very slight selling by using phrases such as perfect for, ideal for, top quality, durable, and easy. They're not stuffed with keywords and features like we're gonna see in the next examples. Here, I wanna show you some bad examples so you can avoid these mistakes. Look at how long and horrible these bullet points are. They're not scannable or easy to read. They don't give a product snapshot. Rather, they railroad you with far too much information. It's crazy. Don't ever do this. I would imagine that Amazon will actually de-index some of these listings in the future, as they're not exactly on par with the excellent consumer experience that Amazon tends to promote. Let's go and take a look at creating some sample bullet points. How I do it, how I write them, and where we put them. The first thing I want to do when I'm creating bullet points is to gather together all the keywords that I've found in my earlier research. You can store these in a Google Doc. I grab the keywords that I found from similar competing listings from Amazon, as well as the keywords that I found when I was using the Amazon suggestion tool, and I paste them all into a Google Doc. I've got my list here with the keyword list from the competed listings that I use in the titles and bullets. Then we've got our keyword list from the Amazon suggestion tool. Once I have these lists, I then go to the top three to five similar competing listings on Amazon and copy and paste all of their bullet points into the same document to get a feel for what the competition is saying and how they are saying it. This also gives me an indication as to what not to say. If, for example, the competing listings have overly long bullet points, I wouldn't copy them. I'd simply take a note of what they've mentioned, that is the most important features or selling points, and then I'd say, maybe I want to add some of these uh, into my bullet points, or maybe I don't. We're going to come to that formula that we use later and to create the bullet points. One thing to remember, when you're creating your own bullet points, you're not trying to create a description. You're simply telling the customer about the product. What are the main features and what specific information do they need to know about the product to make an informed purchasing decision? Now, I've got all the keywords here from the two lists. The third thing I've got to do before I create the bullet points is I have to create all the bullets in here from the other listings. To do that, I go over to Amazon. Okay, so here we are at Amazon.com and we're going to type in pool rake. Now we just want to open up the 
the top three listings um, just so I can show you how we do it. So I'll open that up in a new tab. Another bestseller here, we'll open this one up in a new tab. And then I'll just give you three examples and show you how we just copy and paste and put these into our Google Doc. So here are the bullet points. I will, firstly, I'll just scroll down and grab the ASIN for this product. There's the ASIN, I'll copy that. I'll paste it into our Google Sheet. Then we'll go back and we'll copy the bullet points. There they are. Now we'll go to the next listing and we'll do the same. We'll scroll down, we'll copy the ASIN. And then we'll go back and let's copy these bullet points. And let's just get a third example. We'll scroll down, grab the ASIN again. You can see this one's 849 in patio, lawn and garden. So this product's actually selling a lot. Even though, even though this product is selling a lot, it's got absolutely terrible bullet points. So I'm not gonna copy all of these because this is not how you do bullet points. You don't say things like lifetime guarantee, lifetime 50% off for commercial users. There's just no need to do this sort of crazy stuff. Um, what I can do is skim through and try and find some useful parts. Um, three times faster and infinitely cheaper. Um, this is sort of unlimited free replacement guarantee. You don't need to say all this crazy stuff. Um, let's use, maybe I'll just copy this part here. I'm just being selective and copying the, the points that are tapered for easy maneuverability. Resist mold and mildew, medium mesh. So some of these points I will use, but again, this is what I would say a bad example that we don't need because all of this is just too much to skim through and try and read. And eventually Amazon's gonna catch up with listings like this and, um, and, and they'll have to um, redo these bullet points. Straight sides with slide angle for easy cleaning of pool sides. Let's copy that and I think that will do us. I just gave you three examples of copying and pasting from pool rake listings on Amazon. So you get the idea of how easy it is to just copy and do this first part. Now I'm gonna teach you how to create bullet points. I'm gonna give you the best formula for doing bullets so that now we can start to construct them. Here's the formula that I use. Bullet point number one. Now this should mention the primary product keyword and essentially tell the customer exactly what the product is. Unlike the title, you can be a lot more liberal here and you can put a lot more benefit driven copy in this area. You can include any information on the patterns or designs or something like that. If you have a pink striped box, you'd say pink striped box or whatever color it might be. Remember to mention it in the first bullet point. Now, with the second bullet point, we talk about the biggest benefit of the product. For example, how easy is it to set up and use the product and how does it make a specific process easier right now? An example would be setting up the pull rake couldn't be easier. Just click the two stainless steel aluminium rods together and you're ready to start cleaning. That's an example of what I'm talking about here. The third bullet point can discuss the materials and construction of the product. Try to turn these into specific benefits as well, using keywords such as durable, long-lasting, rust-free, that kind of thing. Obviously, making sure that they are all the things that you've tested during the source phase of the course. The fourth bullet point should mention what's in the box. That is, what exactly is included in the package? You can use benefit-driven words so people think to themselves, this is a really good product. I'm gonna to wanna to buy this. You can say, for example, two by three inch durable aluminum rods or whatever size it may be. You could say rip-free mesh basket with rounded corners for safety. 
Here, you're telling customers what's in the box, but you're also associating some benefits with what's in the box. So people get in their minds, this is a good product, and they're gonna to wanna to actually buy this. The final bullet point, number five, should discuss the dimensions of the product. You can give the package dimensions here if you feel they're particularly important. You'll definitely want to include the dimensions of the actual product. Make sure to localize these for wherever you're selling. For example, if you're in the US, you want to talk about inches. If you're in the EU, you want to talk about centimeters. Also, if you're talking about weight, which you would want to mention in this bullet point, you're going to want to talk about kilograms or pounds, depending on what market you're selling in. This bullet formula has worked extremely well for me since 2013, and I have no doubt that it's going to work well for you. If you look at Amazon's guidelines on bullet points, you'll see that they're remarkably similar to what I'm suggesting here. This is particularly important as we plan to sell here for the foreseeable future, and we've got to conform to their specific guidelines. I would encourage you to go and check out these guidelines just to see what Amazon are actually saying. You'll see that what I'm telling you is in line with what Amazon's saying. I'm just giving you a couple of more tactics and tips that have worked for me that Amazon doesn't include, but they are inside their guidelines, so no need to worry about that. According to Amazon, each bullet point should be under 100 characters. So we need to be particularly concise with our sentences. As we've seen from one of the examples, you've got products and product listings that are way more than 100 characters. You wanna to stick to what Amazon recommends to avoid any problems in future if Amazon starts to crack down and enforce the limit. Finally, try to include some of the keywords that we've found inside the bullet points you're going to write. This really helps because it keeps the message targeted and it ensures that you're talking about the things that customers have been searching for. Because if you include keywords from our suggestion tool findings inside your bullet points, this is matching what the customers have been searching for with what you're actually selling. The closer your offer matches what the customer is looking for, the higher the chance of a conversion, or in other words, transforming a prospect into a buyer. Let's start with bullet point one. We wanna focus on the primary keyword here and tell the customer exactly what they're looking for. Here we go. Okay, so here we are with the first bullet point. And I'm gonna start off with heavy duty six foot telescopic leaf skimmer. Now, the reason I'm starting off with that is because if you look up here, um, the word heavy duty is used by um, a lot of the competing listings. Um, and then the next is six foot and our product is actually six foot. So we need to use that. Um, we've also got the word, uh, tell me, did I spell that correctly? telescopic because the the pole the six foot pole is telescopic so i feel it's important to include that in there as well and the word leaf skimmer or the keyword leaf skimmer is used in a lot of um, searches by customers in the amazon suggestion tool i'm also going to add in here with deep mesh basket and bonus pool scrubber now when you look up above the competitors are also using things like deep and mesh bag. Um, here we have deep mesh bag. And it also comes with a bonus pool scrubber. Now, in bullet point number two, we want to say how easy the product is to set up and use. So I'm saying here, easy to set up with just one click. And the extension pole makes cleaning the pool floor easy and fast. So in bullet point number three, we wanna focus on the materials and construction of the product. So here I'm gonna say something like, built from durable molded plastic, perfect for lifting even the finest debris. Now, when we did our review mining, we learned that there were complaints from some customers that the pull rakes weren't good enough to sift out the finest of debris. So that's why we talk about the construction being durable molded plastic, and also add a benefit in there of it being perfect for lifting even the finest debris. So now we're up to bullet point four. Now bullet point four should actually mention what's inside the box. So I've said here, what you get, two times three foot extension poles, you get one by rip free mesh basket. Now of course we have to test our sample to make sure it is risk rip free with rounded edges. And then here you add whatever your bonus is. 
Now, I know up here I said bonus pool scrubber, but it may be that you're going to have a bonus mesh net or some other type of bonus. It's, it's whatever you determine is going to be the bonus that you put here. I don't want to tell you what your bonus should be. Um, that's completely up to you. In bullet point five, we should mention the dimensions of the product. Again, localizing it for the country you're selling in talking about inches or centimeters, depending on where you're selling. You should also mention the weight of the product or the weight the product can hold. Let's just say it was some kind of weighing scale or something like that. You wanna say how much it can actually hold if it has four kilograms or five kilograms, etc. You might need to mention a measure of volume. For example, if your product's got a four liter container attached, you're gonna to wanna to mention that in your final bullet point. 